good morning one and all we are happy to welcome you at Nash at the national institute of advanced studies for this conference uh, we now begin with the inaugural session may i request professor rajaram nagappa head of the international strategic and security studies program at nias for introductory remarks thank you thank you kaveri ambassador sheshadri vice chairman ris dr baldevraj director nias our distinguished uh, invitees and participants from myanmar and uh, japan or other participants from our country my colleagues from nias issp ladies and gentlemen uh, good morning to all of you as kaveri said uh, my name is rajaram nagappa i am with the international strategic and security studies program at nias and this is the program which is hosting today's conference i join kaveri in wishing you all luck very warm welcome here i hope you've had a comfortable stay and you are ready to go through the ordeals of the next 3 days of uh, deep discussions and deliberations uh, this conference i have a slight personal interest in terms of why i was uh, myself born in burma in nanjing and i was very happy to meet the people from burma the scientists and the uh, specialists who have assembled here especially i was pleased to meet uh, mr somint who himself is a microbiologist seems to have known my father and my father's works so it was a very very pleasant meeting with the people here so let me add a special welcome to all of you again uh, as it always happens i think there have been a few anxious moments for our uh, foreign participants especially related to the visa but thanks to our uh, last minute efforts the ministry of home affairs external affairs all gave the clearances and uh, my wagon and my colleague put in very very special efforts I'd like to thank them because we are happy that your problems are solved in time and you could all come here uh myanmar no needless to say is our uh, important and immediate neighbor in the east and we have a long land boundary 1600 kilometers with them a maritime boundary in the strategically important andaman sea which stretches into the bay of bengal and among the two countries we have long years of shared historical ethnic cultural and religious linkages and this underscores the advantage of our constructive engagement like you've been doing in the last few time and especially today there are very very positive winds of change in the region the political and economic transitions in myanmar have been significant and have naturally aroused considerable interest both within the region and internationally active engagement with the government and the people of myanmar is already taking place and is poised for increased momentum after the elections in november obviously it has drawn india's attention to and it was during the asean meeting of may 2014 in myanmar's capital nepi do that prime minister narendra modi unveiled india's new act east policy this signals how serious india is regarding boosting ties in the region in this light this conference myanmar at the crossroads current realities challenges and opportunities is not only topical and relevant but also aims at exploring myanmar's aspirations juxtaposition of these aspirations among a host of issues and this conference intends to deliberate upon and discuss the dynamics of the transition in myanmar what it means for the world today and in particular to our own country india the agenda of the conference has been organized to elicit how the transition in myanmar will evolve what could be its impact on politics economy society of the country and myanmar's relation with other parts the conference also intends to address the developments that are shaping the internal dynamics apart from mapping challenges and opportunities in myanmar and finally the development linkages of north india's northeast and a sustainable and coherent posture become significant to serve the interests of both countries we hope the conference will provide us some key answers 
And for these answers, we have to examine how far reaching are the changes in Myanmar. Are they general? Are they going to be having some level of permanency? Are they going to be irreversible? Post general elections, which are slated for November, will the reform momentum gather further? Will be on a positive track? And what lies ahead in Myanmar? Are the current engagements between India and Myanmar adequate? What is required for enhancing these engagements and cooperation? Importance of the stability in Myanmar's periphery vis-a-vis -vis India's own northeastern region? And what are the challenges and opportunities that exist in India for, uh, in Myanmar for India and in particular for the Indian industry? These are some of the issues we'd like to examine around here. These questions indeed will be the subject of the conference and I'm sure the deliberations of this conference will aid in identifying recommendations for policy matters to strengthen the relation between our two countries. We are delighted that Ambassador Sheshadri has accepted our invitation to deliver the keynote address. He has deep insight into Myanmar. He was served as ambassador there in the past and I'm sure his presence and insight will add significant value to our further deliberations here. I wish you all a very pleasant stay in our beautiful campus and wish you all a very period of intense and productive deliberations over the next two and a half days. Before I close and say thank you, I'd like to just say my colleague Mail, who has taken a lot of trouble in organizing this conference, has unfortunately taken ill and he'll not be available with us today. Hopefully, if he's better, he'll join us tomorrow or day after tomorrow. In his absence, Arun, my colleague, he's handling you can kiss this one. And we have three young musketeers. Uh, Kaveri is here. I don't see Suparna and Ramya. This one. Uh, there they are. And our office help, Miss Sandhya, there. So if you have any requirement, any this one, please don't hesitate to contact any of us. One more request is, may I request all of you to switch off the mobile, because even on silent mode, the public address system picks up the disturbance. So thank you.